Brendan. How are you doing? Uh, we were hired by H. Holt Battery Street Condominium Trust to replace the roof on our building. In doing so, we had to remove an existing roof deck. Um, as we're going to finish up the project, reinstall the roof deck, we learned that it was not permitted originally. So we're applying for a variance to build a roof deck in a place where the city technically never considered there to have been one in the past. Um, we're strengthening the structure, reinforcing it, bringing it up to code, making it safe for the residents but it's the same size, in the same location. Um, it's set back from the edge of the roof, so it's not visible from the street. The packets that I've passed around, and then Alex has passed around, um, Alex Hathaway from Media Management Company, they manage the property. Um, it includes a picture of what we've proposed to construct on the roof, the existing roof deck that we removed, and plans for the new roof deck. We think it's pretty straightforward, um, but obviously open to questions. So you won't be able to see it from Battery Street? No. no. You won't be able to see it from the street. <laughs> and at the back of the back of the street. Is there a roof deck? I mean, by the building? So there are roof decks all over the north, Multiple to be honest with you. All the way around. Yeah, all the way around the building. Yeah. Yeah. And the majority of the roof decks in the north end, if they were to be removed and replaced, we would find out that they are not permanent structures. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you might see us more in the future. And ultimately, it's the same footprint yeah. that was there previously. It's just trying to be original. And one question that's come up in the past is, are there rules of roof used for the roof deck? So I included a copy of the board's rules in the back of the packet. Um, at the end of the day, it's a building of adults, responsible adults. There are no working students, no parties, college kids, responsible use of the roof deck. And if I could add to Tony and I are uh, actually unit owners and trustees on the board. Um, I've been a unit owner and a resident for almost 18 years in the building. I've been a trustee for almost 17 years. So if anyone has any questions, happy to address them. It's just a, it's a good, quiet, safe building. And we're just trying to replace something that has been there in the past. No questions? No questions? Okay. Thank you. To my knowledge, there has never been any police reports filed. Um, in the last, Chuck has told me in the last 18 years that he's lived in the building and been on the board, he can count on one hand the number of incidents that they've had. It's all been residents that live within the building that have made a noise complaint and have been immediately addressed. If I told you that in 18 years, no one ever called me and said, hey, that party on the roof deck got over the wild last night, I would be lying to you. Yeah. But truthfully, in 18, in almost 18 years, I can count on one hand the number of complaints I've gotten about the roof deck. Yeah. And again, it's, it's always been people in the building, never from outside the building, never in the neighborhood. Um, and it's always been something like, geez, you know, someone left a few beer cans up there last night. The music was playing a little loud from the park that person. That's always been the nature of the complaints. And we've addressed it right away. And then you take care of it. Absolutely. Yes. 